Hello again and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to take type 3 of the reading questions in an academic module. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hey again, Hossein here. So, this type of question is short answer questions. This is basically like a gap fill question. Okay, but the difference is that instead of writing the answer inside a gap, uh, you are going to write the answer in front of a question. So the same strategies and techniques would apply here. I'm going to recount them really fast. You read the question very carefully, you underline the keywords, you try to come up with paraphrases, and you try to guess the answer itself, the part of its speech, whether it's a noun, a verb, an, an adjective, or an adverb. And then you go to the passage, and you try to locate your answer. You use the keywords you have underlined to locate the answer. And then you read that part very carefully, and hopefully you can get the answer right. Don't forget to read the instructions very carefully, whether it says one word, two words, three words, no more than two words, no more than three words. That is very important. Many people usually forget that. Now I'm going to take one sample test myself. The links are in the descriptions below. You can download it and you can print it out and take it with me. If you don't want to do it, just watch me take this test. All right, everyone, let's start with part three. Changing our understanding of health. So there are some paragraphs here A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 paragraphs here. And this is the short answer type. Okay, don't forget that the questions are in order. You only have to read number one, okay? No more than three words, maybe one, maybe two, maybe three. In which year, okay, we are looking for a year, did the World Health Organization, WHO, so something really nice to scan for, define health in terms of mental, physical, and social well-being? Okay, mental, physical, social well-being. In which year, so I'm looking for a year, here. So I'm not going to read this paragraph or in even this one because there is no year here, okay? I'm going to start from this paragraph. In the late 1940s, the World Health Organization challenged this physically and measured in the view of health. They stated that health is a complete state of physical, mental, and social well-being and is not merely the absence of disease. That's it. 1946. The answer is 1946, not this one. 1946. Okay. Uh, name the three broad areas which relate to people's health according to the socio-economic view of health. So name three broad areas which relate to people's health and new socioeconomic view of health. All right. The specific behaviors from the three main risk of disease such as smoking and the use of Name the three broad areas which relate to people's health according to the system. Ecological. Okay, let me read it again. Ecological. So this word socio-ecological is a good word to be looking for. Oh yeah. Here it is. 
During the 1990s, we are growing, swing from away from seeing the fiscal risks as the important healthy in terms of social economic. That's it. Social economic and environmental context. Social economic and environmental context. So it's going to be social, uh, economic, and environmental environmental factors. Okay, so the environmental context of factors here. So during which decade were lifestyle risks seen as the major contributors to poor health? During which decade were lifestyle risks were seen as the major contributors to poor health? The process of the was the following that is clear from this and the question of how At the conference in 1987, I chart. Okay. Maybe we should take it. Life is not seen as much as During which decade were lifestyle risks seen as the major contributors to poor health? Ah, uh -huh. growing swing away from seeing lifestyle risks to poor health. Okay, so it means sometime before this time. Okay, I think. The 1970s is lifestyle. Okay, so the answer, okay, everyone, something interesting. The answer to number three is before number two. Sometimes things like this happen, okay? In an easy text, very, very rarely, uh, you, you might see something like this. You might see uh, like number two, number three appears before number two. And that's why I'm telling you that you have to read everything very carefully because if you don't understand that, if you don't read that carefully, chances are you can never find the answer to that question. So the answer is here, 1970s. But I have to admit that, I have to say that this is, this is an old piece. Uh, in my experience, in the new texts, in the new question types, there is no such thing. They are always in or there. Now, let's check the answers. Time three. 1946. Yes, in paragraph C, paragraph E, paragraph D, yes. You see? This one is before this one. Social economic and environmental, social economic and environmental, 1970s. Yeah, that's it. All right, everyone, this is the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and stay tuned in for more videos.